Now, should people who have been convicted on felonies be allowed to run for public office in Illinois? That question is expected to come up in veto sessions in the coming weeks. Reporter Emily Jordan is working for you to find out why some Illinois Democrats are supporting the measure. Ford says that right now, things are out of balance. The purpose of the bill, House Bill 5904 is to bring some type of um, balance and continuity to the law. Uh, who could run for offices and who can't run for office. Ford says now convicted felons can run for Congress or even president, but those with felony convictions can't run for mayor, trustee, or alderman of their hometowns. Making it fair, um, you know, because it's inconsistent. The inconsistency in our law is confusing, unfair that, that people um, don't have the right to uh, represent their communities after they've been reformed. Republican Senator Andrew Chesney introduced a bill in January that would have prevented those with convictions from seeking office. We spoke with him today to get his reaction to Ford's plan. He says he hasn't seen the bill, but admits that Republicans wouldn't necessarily support allowing felons to seek local elected offices. Generally speaking, we would have some concerns on that. Uh, we have to look at the bill and, and see how that how that interacts with other bills. So, but but right now we we would have I would suspect as Republicans we would have some hesitation to that. Thanks, Emily. Chesney didn't address the fact that Republican President-elect Donald Trump has felony convictions or why the Illinois Republican Party wouldn't support convicted felons running at the local level.